In this video we will look at the object inside JS, but first let's see. What is an object in JavaScript? Objects give you the ability to store data in depth, and with that in mind, objects are so-called complex data types, also called composite data types. We use numbers, booleans, strings, and arrays in order to compose objects. Objects can also store objects within themselves. So when we're dealing with multiple related variables, we can put these variables inside it. For example, here we have two variables. Car model equals charger and year equals 2016. They're highly related. They are part of the representation of a car. So instead of declaring two variables, we can declare a car an object. And then instead of referencing these two different variables, we can just refer to the car as an object. Here, these curly braces are what we call an object literal. Now between these brackets, whatever we add is known as key value pairs. So keys are basically the properties of this object. Let's see what it really means. In this case, we want this car's object to have two properties, or two keys, car model and year, so we add car model here. After that a colon, then set the value. So after charger, we add a comma, and another key value pair with the year equal to 2016. So far, we've created a car object with two properties, or key value pairs, car model and year. Now, these two are the same as this new object we created, so let's remove it. Let's log out the cars now. And after saving it, here's where we can see these properties. There are two ways to access or modify these properties. By using dot notation or bracket notation. Let's see this inside our code. Here we are telling JS that I want to access this car model property from the object. Look at this code. After cars, when we put dot notation, we are able to see these options, car models and year. Let's say we want to change the name of the car model to Viper, so we simply add Viper inside quotes and console log cars car models and console log cars. Check this out our properties is changed. We can also use any objects inside an object too. What it means is nesting objects we can still access those properties. For example, let's say const person equals name, colon, Jerry, and Smith. And now to make this code nested, we simply convert this name property. Const person equals name. And here we will add another bracket and inside this bracket let's say first name is Jerry and last name is Smith and close both the brackets. To access these items you just need to chain the extra step at the end with another dot. Console.log person.name.first and console.log person.name.last. Over here. You cannot use bracket and index number as we are trying to separate the array, and so array become useless in this case. Bracket notation provides an alternative way to access object properties instead of using dot notation. Let's see this with our previous example. Over here instead of using dot notation, we use square brackets and we pass a string which determine the name of target property. So here let's say cars, car model, equals Martin. And now if we console log out, car model is now changed to Martin. And this works exactly same as dot notation. While coding, we can use any of these two notation. In next part we will look at the functions basic in JavaScript so stay tuned and don't forget to share and subscribe.